Hey guys, Jack Scalfani here, another Playing With Your Food episode. Today's episode brought to you by audible.com. 150,000 audiobooks. You don't know what audiobooks are yet? You've never tried an audiobook? I have a free offer. You can try it for 30 days. You can get a free audiobook. Right now, I'm reading John C. Maxwell. Good leaders ask great questions. I'm trying to make myself a better leader, a better friend, a better person, better dad. And I'm hoping that this book might help me. So. I haven't started it yet, but I'm going to start it. If you want to read with me, go ahead and use my offer and get your free copy, and we'll read it together. Audible.com. It rocks, and they're our sponsor, and I love you guys. Let's do it. All right, here we go. I got a tombstone pepperoni. I got a Red Baron. It's got pepperoni and sausage. They didn't have a plain pepperoni at the store. I've got a pepperoni from Fresh Freshetta, and I've got a pepperoni from Kroger's. Got my trusty little receipt here. Okay, so here we go. The tombstone is $3.99. They're all one pound each pizzas. They're all the same size. The Kroger's is $3.67. The Red Baron is $3.50. And the Fischetta pizza is $4.99. Most expensive, least expensive. All right, so we're going to be looking at... Uh, we're, this is one rare episode where we're going to taste... We're going to tell you which one tastes the best. We're going to tell you which one looks the best, has, has a lot of cheese on it, that kind of stuff. There's a shot of the tombstone frozen. I'm going to slide it off on here. But it's a little deformed, kind of weird. See? Kind of lift it up. But it looks good. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. That's pepperoni, 17, 18, 19 pepperonis. Plenty of pepperoni in my mind. This smells really good, but let's look at the bottom here. And I went with the smallest amount of time. The bottom's good. Oh, it's really stripping grease. Let me get a towel. We're going to take the pepperoni off carefully. Try and leave. I'm a big fan of sauce on my pizza, too. So there's the pepperoni. I think that's a great amount. All right. Let's see how the cheese is. Now, if you ever do this, you probably won't ever eat pizza again because look how much sauce. Look at that. I'm a big fan of sauce. That's more than most people give you. But if you look at this, this is like, this is like not even cooked all the way. Look at that. That's dough. It's not even cooked. It's like wet. It's doughy. It's okay. I'm not a big fan of the dough. Um, so here's all your cheese. Lots of sauce. Once again, that's a plus for me. So we're going to give the pizza a try right now. I'm going to try this piece right here. I've never had tombstone before, but... Oh, wait a minute. Starts off good. The sauce has a little bit of an aftertaste. I'm not sure why. I think they have a lot of sugar in the sauce. Hold on. Yeah, I'm not one for sugary sauce, but it's still pretty good. I would say that's like, on a scale of one to 10 for flavor, I'd give it like an eight. Yeah, I'm really, I'm surprised at how good it is. I'm surprised it has sauce, plenty of cheese, plenty of pepperoni. Well, there you go, that's Tombstone. Okay, so the next one we're gonna do is going to be the uh, Red Baron. All right, so how many pepperoni they got on here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen pepperoni, and they got a little bit of sprinkled sausage. Um, I, I'm not gonna ding them for that. I just think, like, look at this piece here, though. This is like nothing really. This is gonna be a horrible piece here. All right, let's get it in. The oven's ready, and uh, we'll take a look at it when it's cooked. Here is the Red Baron pizza. And here's what I'm seeing. The pepperoni is not as attractive. Got puddles of grease in each one. That's fine. I don't mind that. But I'm just, I don't know. The other pizza looked better. The tombstone. And I thought tombstone was going to be the worst. So there's your toppings. That and that. It's on one slice. 
Now let's take a look. I'm seeing a lot of sauce here too. Look at this. When you order a pizza at Pizza Hut or Domino's or wherever, you don't get sauce like that. Now I will tell you this. There's less cheese than on the tombstone. But there's also a lot of sauce, which I love. About the same amount of doughiness. See? That same amount of doughiness. How'd the bottom look? Huh? About the same. All right, so I'm going to try this piece right here. Here we go. Ugh. All right. Sorry, I'm trying to swallow as fast as possible. It's horrible. Um, as soon as the crust hit my tongue, now remember, your tongue tastes everything, right? So the crust hits it first, and that's making it or breaking it. It tastes like cardboard. The crust tastes like cardboard. It's absolutely horrid. So it completely ruins the rest of the pizza. So now I'm chewing some pretty good toppings with a bunch of cardboard in my mouth. I do not like it. It's like a two out of 10. Wow, that's like a vacuum sealed, high quality job. Now here's what, here's what kind of freaks me out. This doesn't, this looks almost like salami, don't look at pepperoni, but let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, just like the other one. And that, that's a self, I mean, that's a fluffy, airy crust. It smells delicious. That's a, a naturally rising crust. You got that, you got that, that one, that one, and that little piece right there. Perfect. All right, so let's take a look here. Okay, so I see some nice cheese, a lot of sauce. Loving the sauce on the frozen pizzas. You never get sauce. Maybe it just gets absorbed, I don't know. About the same amount of doughiness, look. All right, let's give it a try. Wow. That's really good. That tastes like a real pizza. I mean like a kind of a store bought, not a store bought, but a restaurant bought. That really tastes good. Let me try the crust. Interesting, I really like that. Uh, I wouldn't say it's better than the tombstone. It's as good as the tombstone. The tombstone had a little bit of more saltiness to it. I don't know how much sodium are in these frozen pizzas. I'm sure there's a lot, but uh, that's a good pizza. That's a real good pizza. A lot more crust. I would like a little bit more, a little less crust though, me personally. But if you love that airy crust, you want to dip it like in salad dressing. I love salad with my pizza. And you just dunk it in the Italian dressing. Mmm, so good. All right, you guys ready? Let's get the next one. All right, now this one also is a self-rising crust. So I expect this one to be a fluffy, airy crust too. This is Kroger's. This is just the store brand. I bought the generic one. I got to tell you, I'm not liking the way the... I like pepperoni. Tombstone had it down. How is it you can't make sure that this pepperoni is getting the same spot? There's got to be a way. Not as great looking of a crust as the last one, but there you go. That's your Kroger's pizza. See what I'm saying? This guy, look at this. See, this is what happens. I just, I cut through the empty area to kind of spread the empty area when I cut. But look, this piece has one. This piece has one, two, three, four, five. This has three and this has two. And there's got to be more uniformity if you're going to manufacture these. Come on. Get these out. Now, the next thing I'm noticing is that there is, let me remove this. Here, I'll share the love. There you go. Look at the dough. Look how thick the dough is. It's all dough. That is a lot of dough. All right, so let's take these off. Doesn't look like there's any cheese. Look at that. Let's look at the cheese. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to... This is embarrassing, Kroger's. You guys need to just get out of the pizza business. There you go. That's the cheese. All right, hold on. I'll help you. There. 
There you go. That's all the cheese on this thing. All right, hold on, hold on, because I can hear you guys. Well, you missed a piece. Let's get it all. There. That's a massive amount. Every other slice that we did today had three times the cheese. I'm speechless. I'm over pizza already. Literally, this is all I got in me is to try this piece. I have this nasty coating on my, on my tongue from too much sugar in the sauce and too much salt. So as soon as I'm done tasting this piece, I'm only doing one bite. I only do one bite of the rest, but I'm telling you, I'm nauseous right now. Not a fan of frozen pizza, but I did it for you guys. So uh, let's give this a try. Mm. Oh, try. Mmm. Gotta get my towel in them. There was a trash can that spit it out. This is elementary school cafeteria pizza. There you go, Croakers. You just wanna, you, you just gotta compare it to elementary school cafeteria pizza. All right, guys. I don't recommend frozen pizzas. Um, we may add a few more later on. We'll review some other frozen pizzas. As you guys start writing me about brands that you like that I can get, I'll check them out. But there, there's a lot of sodium in them. Sodium. There's a lot of sugar in the sauce, which doesn't need to be in the sauce at all. My tongue just it feels nasty. I'm going to go guzzle some water. I'm going to tell you right now, Freshetta was the most expensive and was the best of the four. Tombstone was, the, was a good price. It was $3.99. It wasn't the cheapest. It was a good price and almost equal to Freshetta. So I give the win to Freshetta. You guys, let me know what you think. Give me some more ideas. And if you know something about these pizzas that you want to comment about, put it down below. I'll see you in the next episode. Take care. Bye-bye.